Long scenarios like these might scare the students, but they are loaded with ample information to answer all the questions asked later on. Let's take up this case and see how we can make you understand how each statement can help you reach to a differential diagnosis and later on to your definitive diagnosis. A 40 years old male patient resident of Karnataka presented with complaint of ulcers in mouth and difficulty swallowing solid and liquids. These symptoms had been present since 20 days associated with bleeding from ulcers while brushing teeth. Let's take a look at the habits of the patient. His habits included pan chewing 10 times daily along with smoking 35 BDs and alcohol consumption since 10 years. As per the clinical examination, there is presence of ulcerated lesions on the bilateral buccal mucosa along line of occlusion, flaccid bullas in the lower buccal vestibule, erosive lesions, and a positive Nikolsky sign. Histopathology reveals intraepithelial blisters, acantholytic zinc cells in the vesicular space, and chronic inflammatory cells in the connective tissue region. Let's see the points we have picked up from this long scenario to lead us to a differential and then to a definitive diagnosis. Ulcers along the line of occlusion brings you to your first differential of traumatic ulcers. While the habit of pan chewing, smoking and alcohol consumption leads you to thinking that the ulcers could be squamous cell carcinoma. Then the clinical presentation of ulcerative erosive lesions along with flaccid bullas and a positive Nikolsky sign makes a good hint towards vesiculobullous diseases like pemphigus vulgaris, mucous membrane pemphigoid, lichen planus and erythema multiforme. And this removes the initial differentials like traumatic ulcers and squamous cell carcinoma from your think list. Finally, the presence of intraepithelial blisters, zinc cells from the histopath report brings us closer to our final definitive diagnosis. And we remove mucous membrane pemphigoid, lichen planus and erythema multiform from our list. The disease the patient was suffering from was pemphigus vulgaris. Thank you.